I should stay hidden if I don't want to fight. Come on! That's the end of you.
It's all yours, Commander.
Ready for... Welcome back! Where shall we go? Fio Tonino, Conte Pio, Conte Pio, Amorito de Emerine. Conte Pio, Fio Tonino, Conte Pio, Conte Pio, Amorito de Emerine. What is the approaching enemy ships?
this battle you're calling out about? My name's Rakios. It's a pleasure to meet you. Alexios, tell me about the battle. The Battle of 100 Hands draws warriors from all corners of the Greek world to compete for a large purse. But as competitions go, it's also very deadly. A last person standing type of affair. Killing is how I make my drag me. This battle would be no different. It's true. You have the look of a mythical hero about you. I expect future generations to sing songs in my honor. If you join the battle, you'll have the chance to prove your mettle against the best. 
And because the battle is backed by the most powerful and influential people in the Greek world, the purse is always growing. If you mean the people I think you mean, then I would like to meet them and have a few words. Indeed. They are the kind of people I would never speak about openly. You know, you do look like someone I've met before. Another fierce warrior. Family resemblance, perhaps. You mean Demos. Then this battle is backed by the cult. Of course, I can't talk about that. Not with any old challenger, but become the champion of the Battle of 100 Hands, and I'll tell you all I know. I want to fight in the battle. I thought you might. The only rule is that every competitor must train with another competitor, and they must vouch for each other. And you can direct me to a worthy training partner. Indeed, indeed. One of our top-ranked competitors is looking for a training companion. Roxana. She spars on Idria, the island just north of here. I'm ready to compete. You haven't yet finished your training. You do seem capable enough. If you gave me a heavy bag of drachmi, however, I might be able to waive that requirement. I'd rather not bother with the training. The winner's purse will reflect your contribution, Mistios. The battle will commence soon. Meet me inside the city gate when you're ready. I don't want to be spotted here.
here again for the battle of 100 hands. Indeed, impressive warriors from all over the Greek world have come to test their might and skill against each other. Whether it is the sharpest sword in the Athenian army or the broadest shield Sparta can master, all now stand alone against the many. At our climax, the final two will face off on a special battlefield. But only one will be called champion. Let the battle of 100 hands begin! Remember that horn! You'll hear it throughout the battle, marking your progress! Now, fight! Fighting with obsidian swords? I'd win against them using my fists. The second horn. That means a quarter of the combatants are dead. Contestants must be somewhere else. Another horn. Half the fighters are already dead.
I need to keep moving. Off we go. Bodies. Such a waste of life for sport. You can only imagine the might of all these warriors aligned against the cult. Instead, we came to Melos to slaughter each other over a sack of Rakmi. And then you'll give me the information I want about the cult. Indeed I will! But before that, one contestant remains! I saw you fighting out there, Mystios. It was impressive. I would say you're a Spartan, but what you did is not something they trained for at the Aerogi. I'm not a typical Mystios. This fight will be unlike any you've had before. That may be, but it's my destiny to win this battle. A destiny that's been years in the making. I sincerely hope you're as strong as you say. 
It will make the songs they write about this day that much more epic. There will be no legend to sing about until this battle is finished. Fine. Let's finish it. Time to die! Finally. Not playing anymore, are we? No, we're not. Come on! We need this to be a fight here. Well done, Mystios. We should return to the city for your ceremony. First, I want the information you promised me. I don't think so. No more games! Tell me what you know about the cult! Truth is, Mystios, the Battle of 100 Hands was always a bit of a trap. Indeed, we've been doing it for years, hoping to draw out the sibling of the warrior Vibos. That all means nothing to me. Oh, come now, Mystios. We have found you. Indeed, everything's gone according to plan. I've killed many people today, Drakios. I can make it one more. Today is the day I earn a big bonus from the masked ones. I was hoping we could do this elsewhere, but... I have plenty of fight left. <laughs> <laughs> All these people died just for the cult to find me?
Wilbur. I've heard you command one of the fiercest ships at sea. And if I do? Maybe you turn it on those shit-eating Spartans. They're attacking our navy. My crew and I will make sure the Spartans feel Poseidon's wrath. I like your spirit, Mystios. We're going to need it. past the sirens and into the mouth of Poseidon himself. The waves bow to me in fear. Should we be sailing this close to them? Ready the oars! Archer! that do not fear cosmos can learn to breathe beneath the waves. They'll be watching for me. I need to be careful. Ugh! <sighs> 
for you, Commander. yourself. 
The future belongs to us now. Old gods and new be praised. Sharp watch here. Come <laughs> on. 
through my life. Who the bubble there?
People sure like building boats. I need your help with something. Come to see the richest man in Achaia, have you? You don't look rich. The richest person in any land is the one who wants for the least. And I want for nothing at all. There's only one thing that makes a person rich. Drachmi. The only people who say otherwise don't have any. Ah! <laughs> A mind that thinks for itself. Someone save me from this horror. <sighs> Relax, relax. The name's Democritos. Renowned thinker of thoughts, writer of rights, and questioner of answers. I'm Alexios. And I've never heard of you. Probably says more about you than me, Alexios. <laughs> now you came here to help, hmm? So happens I've uncovered the whereabouts of three divine mathematical discoveries. Mathematical discoveries? Really? Yes, really. The theorems, when combined with my own, will unlock the greatest mystery in the universe. Which, as you know, is a place where mysteries strive to remain locked. Bring these three theorems to me, and I will reward you handsomely. So, you get the theorems, and I get the reward. From a man who seems completely disinterested in Drachmi. <laughs> Drachmi is for idiots! What I offer is far greater than that. But first, the theorems. Fine. What are they? Only the greatest achievements of rational thought. The original transcriptions of the Golden Ratio, the Pythagorean Theorem, and Zeno's Paradox. I'll find these theorems for you. Come back as soon as you have one.
Come on. That's what I'm looking for. Come on. Another day's hunt begins. One of the documents Democritus wants. This isn't even math. It's a child's fable. Golden ratio. 
The Mokiritos will want to know I found it.
sail. Under. Back. More speed. Onward. Here it is. Keep your arms! The Get commander is leading the helm!
Καλησπέρα, Δημοκρήτο. Αλέξιο. What have you brought me? So I found Zeno's paradox. You did? <laughs> And what did you think of it? The tortoise arrives at a point. Achilles, who is chasing it, runs after him. But after Achilles arrives at the same point, the tortoise has moved on. By the time Achilles arrives at the tortoise's new spot, the creature has again moved further. <laughs> exactly. It shows how the universe divides itself infinitely. A mathematical theory hidden in a child's fable. Zeno was clever. Every knowledgeable old man I've ever met was an idiot. <laughs> But the minds of children are endlessly wise. I found the original golden ratio. A discovery that will change the course of existence. At first, I didn't think I saw anything special about it. But the sides of this diagram aren't even. The side marked A is almost half of the side marked B. Almost, but not quite. <laughs> A and B are to A as A is to B. So how can this theory be used? Used? <laughs> It isn't used, only observed. It is the divine balance occurring naturally in the most measurably beautiful places in the world. It is everywhere and nowhere. It took some doing. But I found the Pythagorean theorem. The greatest breakthrough the world will ever know. And now we have it in its original glory. <laughs> Why? Did Pythagoras invent the triangle? Great minds don't invent, they discover. Pythagoras discovered that the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. That was a lot to take in, but I think I found everything. You did. And with this, I can finally form my grand theory. The theory that simultaneously divides and unites all the universe. What is this theory? Using the theorems as evidence, I intend to prove that the universe is divisible into infinitely smaller parts. As we break reality down, the parts shrink and the space between them grows. Once you prove your theory, what will you do with it? Although I aim to prove that the universe is divisible, I hope that the theory can be used to unite people. All of this sounds ambitious. One can't achieve greatness by attempting mediocrity. <laughs> But I confess, I have a personal motivation. Everyone always does. Ha! In another life, you would have made a fine student. When I was a student, I loved a poet. But I was so consumed by study, I never told her. I hope to use these theorems to show her my poetry. And maybe to win her heart. If that's what you want to do, let's do it. What? <laughs> right now? You missed your chance to tell her once, Timokritos. There's no point in missing it again. Let's go. You're right. This time I will do it properly. I never would have guessed you were a lover. Well, I wasn't. My theory that all atoms exist with the great void between them is a bit like the life I've lived. But not anymore. Now you're filling that void. Maybe. Maybe what fills the void and what draws us together is love. Save that line for the poet, Democritus. It's a good one. No! That's her! Those bandits, stop them! <laughs> Demokritos, I'm sorry. They killed her for it to end like this after all this time. You have your theorem and the others. Read them to her. Let her see your poetry. It's too late. It's never too late. You can go. In another life, she might have known my love for her. You might have been my student. Imagine the happiness we'd have known. A wise man told me, the richest person in any land is the one who wants for the least. 
Don't want for the past, Democritus. I'll leave soon enough. But for now, I think I want for privacy. Take this and leave me to mourn, Alexios. Better stay hidden. I see where the...
This area will be well defended. I'll root all of you out.
Alexios, it was never supposed to be like this. Decades ago, a group of people gathered together to uphold a theory which they believed could control the universe. That the world functioned in equal parts, order and disorder. But some fell lovingly into the wicked arms of chaos and the cult of Cosmos was born. They abused their power, casting the Greek world into eternal war, one you were created to stop. In destroying the cult, you have done what I could not. You are a hero, but this imbalance comes with a price, my child. For without chaos, there is supreme order, a loss of progression and freedom. But there is still hope. Hope in you. Hope in the future you will bring. We must fix the mistakes of the past. Use the staff. Repair the rift in the universe. The world depends on you, Alexios. You need to be the hero again. So, you've seen it too then. It's beautiful, isn't it? What are you doing here? You killed the last member of the cult. Well, just about. What? It's true. I was their leader. But only for a moment, it seemed. When your sister came along, it changed everything we were aiming for. I thought Demos was on your side. Not in the way we hoped. As you know, she's impossible to control. She worked her way to the helm, and then she held even more sway than I did. You agreed with them? The fucking cult? The powers that be in the Greek world weren't doing things the right way. The cult just wanted a clean slate. By way of corruption? Dirty drachmi? They killed people in a war they made themselves! Fueling war was one of the methods, yes. But it was controlled. Until suddenly it wasn't. And then I didn't like what we were doing anymore. Malaka. So you were after us. Not you, your bloodline. People like Leonidas, like you, have always posed a threat. Then we met and you surprised me. You were nothing like Demos. Why not just use me? I was in the palm of your hand. You made me optimistic that you could help me bring down the cult that had become so corrupt. And you did, albeit unknowingly. Telling me you're a cultist took guts. You know what I do to cultists, Aspasia. I didn't want to lie to you anymore. Now that they're gone, we can work together. I think we'd make a good match, don't you? I just don't understand. 
What about this pyramid? How does it work? Why does the cult have it? I've been trying to figure out all of that myself. It's as much of a mystery to you as it is to me. This pyramid has been worshipped by the cult for decades, and we have used it to replace the Oracle of Delphi, the most trusted person in all the Greek world. Using the people's reliance on a pantheon of dead gods would help to reshape humanity in our favor. The pyramid holds a mysterious power to see into time. But only certain people can activate it. People like Zemos, and the ones in your bloodline. But you've seen something too. I don't know how or why, but it did show me... something. What did you see? I saw you. In the vision, you destroyed the pyramid and you destroyed the cult. I saw what would come after. After the cult? We will be replaced by a new kind of order. Control under the reign of a philosopher king. There would be a movement away from the old gods towards rational society. Built in a kingdom by the people, for the people. And I must find someone to lead them. But I couldn't achieve any of this with the cult and their chaotic regime. So I let them carry out their plans and let the time of the cult of Cosmos come to an end on its own. Wait, did Pericles know? I wanted to protect him, so I kept him in the dark. He would have had his own opinions, but he was never supposed to die. That is the truth. You've made questionable choices, but I think that was the right one. You knew him. All he did was worry about the state of the Greek world. If I told him, it would have ruined him. So, what happens now? We shift focus. We steer towards a new republic under one supreme rule. A dream I'll make a reality. But it is still a dream. One that isn't realistic. Abandon what you know and just imagine. Forget democracy. No more blue and red. Just citizens working for a greater good. This is crazy. It won't work, Aspasia. It didn't work. It's not crazy. It's enlightened. Once people in Athens get wind of this, they'll come to know they've wanted it all along. Even you. Uh, I'm not sure. You've spent your whole life thinking for yourself. Let go. What I plan will require you to trust me. Come with me. This future's not a dream. I'm sorry. I suppose that means you trust me. I... don't know what that means. I'll tell you what it means. Love is a singular comfort, Alexios. What comes next means harmony for everyone. You should go. Lead your new republic. I won't be the leader. We need someone with the knowledge of a philosopher and the wisdom of a king. That's a tall order these days. I couldn't have done this without you, Alexios. You're doing the right thing. I always try to do what's right. Then we're after the same thing. Alexios, there is much left to do now. I can weather any storm.
αντιλαμβάνει η χώρα. 